or Grand Theft Auto, you don't have to consider yourself to be a gamer to know about the Mortal Kombat franchise. It flowed over into the movies, multiple web series, and nearly every anti video game argument for the past few decades. Mortal Kombat is a staple of the video game industry, and now, for the first time ever, a new entry in the franchise is debuting on Android and iOS before its release on consoles. Well, does Mortal Kombat keep up to its reputation? Well, that's something we have to find out. So, hey guys, Hal Lakshman here, and today I'm gonna review on Mortal Kombat X for the Android and iOS. X10, you know how English confuses us. But let's keep it as X. Well, before getting into the main recipe, Modern Combat is a 23 year old franchise and for a really good reason. It continually provides fans with excellent fighting games that push the envelope as far as both pick up and play are concerned. In the transition to mobile devices, it's just fine. Fine? Seriously? Fine? Well, for many people who are already watching my review, you would have realized that it's just another remake of the games like Injustice, Gods Among Us, Batman Akram Origins, or maybe even WWE Models. So maybe you have to go through important stuff now. Well, after Injustice proved to be far and away to the most successful fighting game on both iOS and Android, limitations and follow-ups present in the previous iterations were certain to follow. The big problem, of course, is that when you are making a game that choose complexity over collection, you need to have things that people actually want to collect. All the fighting in this game is done through touchscreen, taps and slashes. Tap to punch, spam tap to spam punches, two finger touch to block and slash occasionally for a quick time even move. The gameplay flows smoothly while the characters are whipping around the screen throwing punches, spitting acid, and getting their body broken apart. While each fighter handles the same, their unique special abilities and attack movements help to spice things up a little bit. Unlocking characters and abilities is easy and you may not be forced to use any of the in-app purchases by any chance. One thing that may annoy you is the time taken to load the levels which is a bit slower compared to the Injustice and WWE models. Some things that might intrigue you are the cards which you need to unlock to unlocking characters and if you are unlocking the same card that you had before, it will just fuse with the other card and make your character much stronger which makes you much better. Well the audio track adapted itself into each and every level and had no flaws. You can choose your friends to be as your allies who will save you when you are in really big trouble. Well, there are a lot of levels and a substantial amount of characters available in the game. Well, unlocking them is another stage. Some of the unlockings may look easy for you because they are just using coins where they say CSK but when you are going to the What's that again? Souls? Well, it changes everything. Well, there are gold characters, silver characters, bronze characters. Well, each of them having their unique ability to fight. Well, which may differ. And in some of the missions, you need a, I mean, you are forced to have one of the characters who may or may not win for you. But if she loses, you lost the game which is a really big disadvantage and it may intrigue you for quite a long time if you are not irritated by anything else and playing challenges will allow you to unlock gold characters which is much easier than collecting all of those souls and dying yourself. Well, the graphics of the game is good and I wouldn't expect anything less from creators like Warner Brothers. Come on, they are Warner Brothers, right? 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 Maybe it's why fans of Mortal Kombat may, I mean, may decline this. 
but fans of injustice, gods among us, and WWE models will feel right at home. While the pendulum may swing on both ways, this is a very good game if you neglect the reputation of the same fighting style and the remake of Injustice Gods Among Us in WWE models and it's appropriate for people who believe that it's a real Mortal Kombat game. Well, if you are gonna put it in transition with the console version I believe, well you may not get the same. Well that's pretty much it for my review, like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, leave a comment letting me know how can I improve my videos and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, goodbye.